I went to UK and that's where I met my husband and he was working for the Surpro north of us doing sales. And um, I was in grad school and I wanted to be in sports marketing. I've always loved sports. So, I mean, everybody always knew that I wanted to do that, but talk about a male dominated field. It was, but I was never scared of that either. I mean, I walked in in my high heels and my dress and I never, it, on the playing field, it never bothered me. I'm not the traditional mitigation construction company owner and I get that, but I own it and I have my own brand and I am what I am. And um, you're gonna get it and a lot of people really appreciate that. What should have been my honeymoon, we were cleaning this fire damaged, you know, trailer and it was, and I'm going, I have my MBA, what am I doing with my life? And, and the lady came in and she was just, this looks amazing, thank you. This was my grandmother's cup and this was the quilt and I thought, this is why we're doing it. You know, okay, I, I get it now and I needed that, that moment. I got a call maybe an hour later and my cell phone literally said, the White House. And in the back are my kids screaming for ice cream and it's one of, you know, and she's interviewing me and I was like, I am so, this is so embarrassing and unprofessional and she's like, no, this is perfect. And so I said, okay, and I thought that I'm never, ever gonna get picked for this. And I got an email that night from the Secret Service asking for my social security number and my birthday. They line us up, I'm the very last one to walk in. I come around the corner and everybody's seated around this table except for two seats and one says Mike Pence and right next to it says Julie Roberts. And I like just, I couldn't believe it. And so I went and sat down and they set his binder next to him and it said, Julie Roberts, owner of Serve Pro. It was an amazing experience. I still can't believe that it happened. <laughs> so who thought little, little old me sit next to the vice president?